Hi guys, stopping natin ngayon, mag-focus tayo sa pag-divide ng radicals. So, kung hindi pa kayo masyadong magaling sa pag-simplify ng radicals, pwede nyo i-visit yung ilan sa mga videos na nag i sa akin channel. So, sa topic na to, nag-start, nag-prepare ako ng 5 examples para mas lalo nyo matutunan kung paano mag-divide ng radicals. So, let's get started. Let's have number 1. Yung number 1 natin, sinadya ko talagang ganyan yung given natin para mapansin nyo or matandaan nyo yung ilan sa mga basics ng pag-divide ng radicals. Check nyo muna whether there, kung yung radical nyo ba o yung radical nyo ay pwede pang isimplify. Example, you have a square root of 9 over the square root of 36. Alam natin na square root of 9 ay pwede pang isimplify. You have the square root of 9 as 3. And then yung square root of 36 naman natin, can be also simplified as 6. So, kung mapansin nyo, we extracted the square root of 9 as 3. Yung atin naman square root of 36 is 6. At nawala na yung radicals natin. Ang gagawin na lang natin ay simplify yung ating fraction. Yung 3 over 6 natin can be simplified as 1 over 2. So, for this example number 1, ito na yung sagot natin. 1 half. Let's proceed with example number 2. For example, number 2, may mga iba't ibang way kung paano i-solve to. Pero punta natin yung basic. In example number 2, we have the square root of 2 all over the square root of 6. Dito, sa dalawang to, yung radicand natin ay hindi perfect square. Meaning, uh, we need to rationalize the given radical. So, paano ba? Start tayo. Square root of 2 all over the square root of 6. Ang problema lang naman dito ay yung ating denominator kasi meron siyang radicand. So, to rationalize this one, kailangan na natin ito multiply by the square root of 6 all over the square root of 6. And then, we will multiply it. This will become the square root of 2 uh, of 12 over the square root of 36. And then, kung mapansin nyo, yung denominator natin ngayon ay isa ng perfect square. Meaning, we can simplify this fraction as the square root of 12 all over 6. Pero hindi pa tayo tapos. As you can see, yung square root of 12 natin, pwede pa siyang i-factor. So, pwede tayo magkaroon ng square root of 4 times 3, in which yung 4 natin ay perfect square. So, all over 6. So, proceed tayo. We have 2 square root of 3 all over 6. Sir, saan ang galing yung 2? Yung 2 natin is from the square root of 4, kaya meron tayong 2 sa labas. And then, simplifying this fraction, ito, pwede ma-eliminate. This can be 1. Ito ay pwede maging 3. So, the final answer for item number 2 is simply the square root of 3 all over 3. So, tuloy na tayo sa example number 3. For example number 3, May mga coefficients na sa labas. We have 4 square root of 2 over 3 square root of 5. Paano ba yan? Uh, same thing with number 2. We need to rationalize the fraction. So we have 4 square root of 2 all over 3 square root of 5. Ang target lang naman natin is to eliminate the radical sign in your denominator. So to rationalize this one, we need to multiply it with the square root of 5 all over the square root of 5. And then, next thing na gagawin nyo, you will have 4 times the square root of 10. Paano nangyari yung square root of 10? We have 2 times 5 over 3 times the square root of 25. Paano nangyari yung square root of 25? We have 5 times 5, which is 25. And then simplifying this radical, we have 4 square root of 10 over 3 times 5. Yung 5 natin is from the square root of 25. So simplify lang natin to. We have 4 square root of 10 over 15. So kung kapansin nyo, na-eliminate natin yung, yung radical sign sa denominator. Ang kailangan nyo nalang gawin is to check kung pwede pa bang isimplify yung fraction natin. So, sa tingin ko, hindi na pwede isimplify yung 4 over 15. Meaning, this is our final answer. 
So, we still have two examples left. Ngayon, mag-focus ngayon tayo sa number 4 and number 5. Yung number 4 and number 5 natin, kung mapansin nyo, meron tayong dalawang terms. Unlike sa examples number 1, 2, and 3, single lang yung term ng ating denominator. So, paano, paano yun? Meron tayong tinatawag na conjugate. Na kung saan, yung conjugate ang gagamitin natin na multiplier para ma-eliminate yung radical sa denominator. So, example, we have square root of 5 plus 1. Ano yung conjugate ng binomial na yan? Ang conjugate niya is simply the square root of 5 minus 1. Ang ginagawa lang, you need to copy the first term and second term and then kunin mo lang yung additive inverse ng kanyang operation. So, let's go with number 4. So, we have 2 over square root of 5 plus 1. At ang multiplier natin ay yung kanyang conjugate, which is the square root of 5 minus 1 over the square root of 5 minus 1. So, ano, na, ano natin to? Um, step by step process, dapat yung gagawin natin dito para mas mat matatandaan nyo yung process natin. I-multiply natin yung numerator. So, we have 2 times the square root of 5 minus 1 over the square root of 5 plus 1 times square root of 5 minus 1. Sa numerator, you will apply distributive property. 2 times the square root of 5 is simply 2 square root of 5. And then, 2 times negative 1, it will give you negative 2. And then for our denominator, pwede natin i-apply yung difference of two squares. So we have Ito yung pattern niya. Ang pattern niya ay, pag meron kang two terms na like a minus b times a plus b, siya equal sa a squared minus b squared. So, paano ba yun? Ang gagawin mo lang, you need to copy the first term, which is square root of 5. And then copy the second term, which is 1. And then always, Minus sign sa gitna. Square the first term. Square the last term. And then to simplify, lagyan natin dito. You have 2 square root of 5 minus 2 over. Paano ngayon to? We have to cancel out the radical sign in the exponent of 2. You have 5 minus 1. Paano nang game 5 minus 1? Since nirace natin sa 2 yung ating square root of 5, makakansal yung radical sign at yung exponent niya na 2. And then, ni-square natin yung 1, it will become 1. So, simplify natin yung denominator natin. We have now 2 square root of 5 minus 2 over 4. Ngayon, natanggal na natin yung denominator natin at na-simplify na natin yung denominator natin. Ang ano lang dito is yung ating bang fraction after ng rationalization ay pwede pa bang simplify or i-lowest terms. Kung mapansin nyo, we have 2, 2, and 4. Meaning, we can factor out 2. It will become 2 times the square root of 5 minus 1 all over 4. In which, yung 2 and 4 natin are both divisible by 2. So, pwede ito maging 1. Ito ay magiging 2. So, as you can see, the final answer here is simply the square root of 5 minus 1 all over 2. So, that's it for example number 4. Medyo mahirap. Let's proceed to example number 5. Sa so example number 5 naman natin, yung ating denominator ay dalawang terms na meron dalawang radicals. Pero kayang-kaya natin yan. So, for this part, we have the square root of 11 over the square root of 3 plus the square root of 2 times yung conjugate ay the square root of 3 minus the square root of 2 over the square root of 3 minus the square root of 2. Ah, oh, sorry. Burayin natin. This is square root of 2. Yan. Same pattern. 
since single term yung ating numerator sa kaliwa, we can apply the distributive property square root of 11 times the square root of 3 minus the square root of 2 over. Apply natin yung pattern natin na difference of two squares. Kuha natin yung first term, square root of 3. Second term, square root of 2. And then, lagyan na minus sign, is square yung first term, square yung second term, and then for the numerator, meron tayong distributive property, we have the square root of 33. Sa kabila naman, you will have minus the square root of 22 over, cancel natin to, cancel, you have 3. Mga cancel to, mga cancel to, you have minus 2. Simplify your denominator, it will give you over 1. So, para sa ating final answer, ang final answer ang ating item number 5, ay simply lang na, oops, square root of 33 minus the square root of 22. That's it. So, I hope na natuto kayo para sa topic natin dividing radicals. So, ano lang, mag-subscribe lang sa atong channel at patuloy na panoorin yung mga videos natin para master niyo yung topics natin about radicals. Maraming salamat.